From the time an American child reaches the sixth grade, they are taught that the key to success in life is to do well in high school so that they can get accepted to the best possible college. The better grades they get in high school, the better college they will have an opportunity to get into. They are taught that if they get into a great college and get their college degree, any type of job they desire in the field of their choice will be there waiting for them. After getting their dream job, they will be able to buy any car and house they desire, start their own family, and live the American dream. Most Americans today have an expectation of future economic success simply by obtaining a college degree. The entire purpose of elementary school is to prepare students for high school, and the entire purpose of high school is to prepare students for college. In fact, the U.S. now has hundreds of private college preparatory high schools that, at a cost of $25,000 per year, are supposed to increase students' chances of getting into a top-tier college. Students are taught to believe that if they don't go to college, they will be on a path to nowhere and will have no chance of ever building a successful career. Government regulations like No Child Left Behind have left grade and high schools in shambles. Instead of teachers having the freedom to think outside the box and use creative techniques to prepare their students for the real world, they are forced to be narrow-minded and teach with worthless information that will never help their students have successful careers. Today, there are no high schools left in America that teach students the knowledge necessary to start their own business, invent their own product, or even how to use the internet and other free resources to become educated about things without attending college. The annual cost to attend the average private four-year college in America today is $27,293, up 29% from five years ago during the 2005-2006 school year when the annual tuition cost $21,235. This does not include the cost of textbooks, which have tripled over the past decade. Colleges are now charging $200 for each single textbook that has no resale value because they put out new, slightly revised versions with a new name each year. The textbook publishers are even colluding with college bookstores to make custom textbooks so that students can't save money by buying them online. Colleges are getting kickbacks from publishers in order to destroy the used textbook market, which by itself is proof enough that college administrators are only interested in lining their own pockets and have no interest in helping their students.